Don't forget, if you like art and you want to show it, uh, pick up a Halloween drawing sticker. Uh, these are only going to be around till October 31st, 2022. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take them away forever. Uh, so pick one up before then. I put these on water bottles. I put these on, you know, on my laptop. I put them all over the place. Uh, but definitely pick one up if you like showing your spirit. Anyways, let's get back. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a Velociraptor skull. <coughs> it's going to be simple, easy, and for beginners. So let's get started. It's going to be a side view. All right, real simple stuff. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw more or less a straight, flat line across. All right. It's going to kind of pull up at the end over here because it is kind of the cheekbone, the jugo bone area. Down over here, back, up over here at the edge. Again, this is more or less the, the, the cheekbone area over here. I'm going to go over here on this side and I'm going to go over here and curve at the front. It's going to gradually go upward, by the way. This is the front of the snout going up. I'm gonna go pull down over here, curve up. Maybe a little bump right there. Go over here to the top of the head, but make a little bumpy. There's no rhyme or reason to that. You can just kind of make a couple of bumps there. Down over here. All right. Going over here, and what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put the bottom now I'm gonna find the bottom but it's gonna be open skull so line over here back over here up back over here it's gonna be the bottom of the jaw basically don't forget say hi to me in the comments say what's up say happy Halloween I mean I know this is like tangentially Halloween it's not quite Halloween but you know, <coughs> Halloween-esque, uh, you know, like, you know, bones, essentially. Pulling back for the jaw. The bottom of the jaw is pretty small, I think. It's pretty thin. It gets thicker over here toward the end. Now remember, these are fossils, so they pull them out of the ground, so there's a lot of, you know, variations to these, so that's pretty good for us. Go over here to the front. Line. Line, line. Line, 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 line. Line, line, line. Just for the teeth right there. Again, they kind of curve backwards. That's kind of something to do. Like in, right in the mouth because it's pulling stuff in. All right. Going to do the exact same thing down here. Try to vary the shapes. I don't like It's a little too repeated. Big, small, big, small, big, small. Trying to do like big, small, 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 big, 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 small, big, you know. Trying to make it as random as I possibly can. And I'm going to put another repeated shape back here for the far side of the jaw. Go over here. Curve out. Down over here. Curve in. Down. For the eye. There's this other cavity right here, very next to the eye, pulling in. Like that. Looks like a reverse D shape. And then we're going to go over here to the nasal cavity, like that. So far, so good. All right. There is a hole here in the back as well. So I'm going to pull up. <clears throat> kind of like that. It's going to have these two prongs in the back there. All right. So let's, let's fill in a couple of these things here. So right now I'm going to, wait, let me see. I think I need a different one. I have a different marker to fill in. It's like the same color. It's just not as dry. I'm going to fill in this far side jaw shape. Right on, right there. I'm going to fill in um, this area almost entirely, the one right here. Here's the key, okay? For this one, I'm gonna fill in the top part, like a little bit, see? Look, I'm gonna give it a little shape right here. Okay? Because you can see right through it. Um, but then um, over here, I'm gonna fill in the bottom. 
And that makes it so it doesn't look like he has two eyes. It doesn't look like this repeated shape. Go over here as well, same thing. You could even fill in that entire nasal cavity, to be honest. I'm gonna fill in almost the whole thing. Okay. Cool, cool. Doing good. That's Velociraptor Skull. If you're a fan of Jurassic World, hit me up. Say, what's up? Something like that. Say, hey, dinosaur fan here. Something like that. Um, let me know, because that's a big thing. Now, it's just gonna be the texture. That's the easy part. So you can draw like, dot 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 line here it's literally just a series of for me personally i just do a lot of dots or scratches and what that represents is kind of the the, the texture of the skull right the wobbliness of it and i'm just more putting them around items over here around random items it doesn't have to be around every single thing it's just around random items here And over here. Right over here. And again, we're just I'm just throwing them but I have to be small. I'm talking about small because then it falls back as detail. Because if you don't do that, it's gonna take over the whole thing. It's gonna be look like he's covered in spaghetti. Um and we don't want that, right? We just want smaller lines, less dominant lines. You have your primary lines, right? Stuff like this, the main area, and then you have your you know, tertiary, your less dominant lines. If you wanna learn anything about everything, by the way, first off, buy a sticker. Uh, the Halloween stickers are only here for, I believe, a month left. Like, that's it, and I'm never putting them, not even next year, I'm not putting them back up. So definitely, definitely go take a look at those and, and uh, pick one up when you, um, you know, while you have time. Um, I put them on stickers, I put them on all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say, uh, as far as like, I'm gonna put a little bit dark over here. As far as, um, <sighs> I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, if you wanna learn how to draw anything, everything and anything, right? I, I would say the first thing to do is go to sketchingeasy.com. There's a lot of lessons there. There's stuff on how to draw anything, right? That's a huge deal. Like, how do you go over and structure everything? How do you teach yourself to draw something that there's no lessons on, right? How do you do that? There's ways to do that, absolutely, and I go over it on my on my um, on the website. Go over there, click the dinosaur for a beginner draw lesson, and it's going to teach you basically how to handle the pencil better, how to like pull lines better, how to do everything better. So absolutely, go take a look at that um, on SketchingEasy.com. But uh, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you very much. Uh, that was a Velociraptor skull. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're a dinosaur fan. Hit that like by the way. It's going to throw the video out long, uh, further there. <coughs> Thank you so much, all right? Stay spooky.